Well, now we're going to talk a little bit about Margaret Burse Oldham, who married John Wesley Oldham that we spoke of the other day. This is she at the age of 18, just before her wedding to him. And this is uh, John Wesley Oldham that she married that we have been discussing. Right. Margaret Burse, I don't know how much we know about her. We have a few photographs of relatives of hers and ancestors. Her brother was Calvin Burse, the best known of the Burses in our family because Uncle Calvin used to drink and smoke. And this was a terrible thing to John Wesley Oldham. It was a thorn in his side his entire life. I mean, these two men saw each other all the time, and of course, never did John Wesley Oldham touch alcohol or tobacco. This is John Wesley Oldham. Right. And we're talking about her brother. We're talking about her brother, right. And Uncle Calvin had a, had a yellow rocker. It was very beautiful and it came down. I remember seeing it at my grandmother's house. Then my grandmother gave it to me and then eventually Amy got it. So uh, it's in the family but it was always known as Uncle Calvin's rocker and it came from his kitchen and it was in my grandmother's front hall because it was highly thought of. This is her brother, Uncle Calvin. This one here, huh? Yeah. He apparently had two wives. Nothing is said about one of them dying and the other one not, but I'm sure they didn't get divorced. Uh, so the first wife is down here, and that's, what's, what's her name? Can you see that? It says Maria, Mar Maria or Mariah Holmes. Mariah Burse. Holmes Burse. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then he later married Lucy Morton Burse. Mm -hmm. Over here. Yes, okay. Oh, uh -huh. This is Sally Holmes' writer is her aunt on her mother's side. And Aunt Hannah Burse is her aunt on her father's side. That's his one here. Aunt we're talking, when we say her aunt, we're talking about... It. I'm talking about MBO. Sister. MBO is my grandfather's mother, okay. Margaret Burse Oldham. Right. And it's the one, she's the young girl who was getting married right. in that picture. And I'm relating things to her because that seems to be a convenient way of doing it since all these are relatives of hers. Okay. Uh, Calvin Burse's wife lived from 1808 to 1878, his first wife. Mm -hmm. I don't ha have any dates for his second wife. I don't. So here we have John Wesley Oldham, who's MBO's husband. husband. And so these are the parents of your grandfather, yes. John, John E. Oldham. Right. Okay, right. Now there they are, rather elderly. And down in that corner, we see Margaret Burse Oldham and Annie Charlotte Holden, mm -hmm. the mothers-in-law of John and Harriet oh, right. Oldham. Right, okay. They and were I'm, both at Squirrel Island on one particular day, and that's MBO there. Yeah, so on the right side. All right, very good. This is okay. Doton Burse, uh, so this list is of Jeru ancestry. Jerusha, Jerusha Doton married Ichabod Burse. Okay, well, it starts here. It starts, it shows... Uh, the first one is Edward Doty, uh, married Faith Clark. It says, came from England in the Mayflower, 1620. Now, the name was Doty and changed to Doton for reasons that are not clear. Yeah, now then we had John Doty, and uh, born 1639, married 1667 to Elizabeth Cook. And we have Elisha Doty, uh, July 13th, 1686. Married 1709, we have Hannah Harlow. And then we have an Edward Doty, born 1716, married 1738 to Phoebe Finney. And Elisha. Finney's are both spelt with P-H and F in this genealogy, too. Hmm. It's interesting. Here we have an Elisha Doton. Here the name is changed. Born 1743, married 1768 to Mercy Harlow. And they had children. They had Jerusha Doton in 1769, Mercy Doton. Elisha Doton died, and his widow, Mercy Doton, married Ebenezer Robbins, born July 4th, 1781, uh, and had Ebenezer 
and George H and Betsy and uh, Bessie to Jerusha Doton born in 1769 died 1856 married Ichabod Burse this is where the Burse family comes in yeah okay they were married 1794 and from that union you had Calvin Burse but not your uncle Calvin this Calvin Burse was born 1808 and died 1876 mm -hmm. married to Mariah Holmes and, and their so, son was probably right alive. their children were Calvin Mariah Francis and, Margaret, and Margaret, Margaret was MBO this was this was Johnny Oldham's mother and yes. Mercy Harlow and so they had these four okay. kids so Margaret was born in December 23rd 1837 she married John Wesley Oldham March 2nd 1856 it says the above facts give to the descendants of Ichabod Burse and his wife Jerusha Doton Bierce Mayflower ancestry on Jerusha Doton uh, something the second through Edward Doty Elizabeth Cook through Francis Cook Mercy Harlow through her mother Mercy Bradford who was daughter of William Bradford a descendant of William Bradford the governor of the of the Plymouth Colony. The above brief records were copied from the very full records of Burse genealogy and allied families as collected by George Harlow Burse, 50 Weston Street, Brookline, Mass., April 5th, 1910. It's, there it is. Right. What we have here is on the right, Jerusha Doton, and on the left, Sally Sturdivant Holmes, who married Ebenezer Holmes. He, so what we had was Jerusha Doton over there is number six. Her son was Calvin Burse, married to Mariah Holmes. So the mother of Mariah Holmes, being then Margaret Burse Oldham's grandmother, is this one on the left, making both of these the grandmothers of Margaret Burse Oldham. We also have here, in, written by someone, and it isn't clear who, but we have uh, the Burst genealogy uh, from 1618 to 1908, I think it is. It says, uh, Austin Burst, the ancestor of this family, came to America in the ship Confidence of London from Southampton, England, April 24th, 1638, and was 20 years of age. His house lot was 12 acres in the westerly part of the East Parish of Barnstable, Mass. He also owned six acres adjoining on the north and two thatched islands, still known as Burse's Islands. Hmm. Also, 40 acres, some of which is near Huckins, Huckins Neck. H-U-C-K-I-N-S. Yep. Huckins Neck. He went <clears throat> to Barnstable, Mass. in 1639 with the first colony there and became a member of Mr. Lothrop's church April 29, 1643. He was pr propounded a free man June 3, 1652 before Governor Bradford. And 1630? 1652. And, June 30, and, and, and he arrived in, in 1638. 38. So, it took what do you him, mean? so he was an indentured servant? It's not clear, but uh, perhaps... Because he became a free man then. Yeah, hmm. that's right. So we had... Uh, so how many, it, how many years him, was that? It took him uh, 14 years. Okay, all right. It took a long time. He's made a free man June 7th, 1653. <clears throat> he was one of the very few against whom no complaint was ever made. A fact which speaks well for his ancestors as a man with <clears throat> as a man and a citizen. He he was a farmer, lived on the produce of his land, and brought up his family to be like himself, useful members of society. He was often called Good Man Burse. <clears throat> there is no record of his death or settlement of his estate on the probate records. He was living in sixteen eighty six but died before sixteen ninety seven. A road from his house to Hyannis, Mass., 
is still known as the Burse Road. So if you go to Hyannis, Massachusetts, you might look for that. No mention is made of a wife, although he had 11 children, 9 girls, and 2 boys. Okay, I have focused on uh, Calvin Burse while I read the next entry on James Burse, who was, I suppose, the son then of Austin Burse. James Burst, our ancestor, by the way, we don't exactly know who wrote this, so our ancestor, I don't know who's, who is talking. Our ancestor was son of Austin Burst. He was born July 31st, 1660 in Barnstable and married Experience, either Hamblin or Howland was her name, but it says Plimpton, Mass. Oh, Plimpton, Mass. Oh, I see. May have meant in Plimpton. Right. I think he removed. Remember. Removed to Plimpton. Okay, yeah. there you go. Uh, and uh, there had eight children, three boys and five girls. His estate was settled in 1728. Number three, Shubael Bierce, our ancestor, son of James Bierce, was born 1689 and died February 1774. He married Thankful Ford in, in November 16, 1709, and lived in Plimpton, Mass., he had six children, one girl, and five boys. Mrs. Thankful Burse was a member in full communion with the First Church of Plimpton, Mass., known as the West Parish of Plymouth, organized in 1695. Thomas Burse, son of Shubael Burse, was born October 2, 1723. He married Abigail Lupps of Pembroke, Mass., January 12, 1743. They had five children, two girls, three boys. He was killed in the French War. The inventory of his property was taken November 24, 1758, and widow's dower granted June 4, 1759. The house was blown down in a gale September 23, 1815, and she then went to live with her son Benjamin, where she died March 10, 1816, 93 years of age and a woman of great sorrows. Yeah. Ichabod Burse, our ancestor, son of Thomas Burse, was born October 23, 1744, and died February 24, 1815. He married first Eunice Witherell in January 29, 1767, and they had one daughter, Eunice Burse, who later married Tilden Holmes of Kingston, Mass. Mrs. Eunice Burse died in 1767, and Ichabod, Ichabod married second, Esther Holmes of Plymouth, Mass. By this marriage, they had eight children, three girls and five boys. He worked in the Pembroke Foundry. Ichabod Burse was a private in Captain John Turner's company enlisted November 6, 1777, to serve to April 3, 1778, at Cambridge, Mass. Next, Ichabod Burse. Our ancestor was son of Ichabod Burse, and was born June 19, 1771, and died 1842. He married Jerusha Doton, and lived at Plymouth, Mass. They had six children, three boys, and three girls. Calvin Burse. Our ancestor was son of Ichabod Burse and was born 1809 and died 1876. He married Mariah Holmes in 1829 at Plymouth. She was daughter of Eben and Sally Holmes. They had four children, one boy and three girls as follows. Calvin, Mariah, Margaret, and Mercy Harlow. So I have put up her picture here since we. this is the first person in the series we have a picture of. She's the one on the left. She was the mother of, again, Margaret, Margaret Burse Oldham. And Calvin Burse. 